I could use shave. <laughs> but I tell you another thing. The sun is coming up. So right now the sun is pretty well behind me and uh, this wall it sits pretty well east-west but see right now the sun has nice access to these tubes because they're round and as the sun moves through the sky it still has direct contact with the tubes you see that and then later the sun is in the west similar situation so you guys remember my bucket that I was using for bleeding air out of the system and I, I also used it as a, a way to screen out you know to try and uh, catch the little pieces of junk for a while I was just dumping the uh, the fluid right on top of the rag here I had it tied on here and then I was just catching junk you know that's in the system see so here's some of my threading tape and uh, stuff just to kind of clean it up a little nicer so this is the first day that looks like we're gonna get some sun since I've got this thing completely all hooked up. And I had a few cloudy days, and it was putting some heat in the building, but not anything like what I'm expecting on a, on a nice sunny day. So this is in Fahrenheit here, 16.9, and that's the temperature outside in the collector. And uh, so you're gonna start to see, it's gonna be coming up anytime. I still have my hoses on here from when I was bleeding the system. So this was a return line, and uh, this is a uh, pressure line, and this is a uh, return line, and uh, this is a pressure line. So yeah, I gotta get all that stuff off of there yet. And that was just, uh, I, I, I bled this system a couple of times just before I was pretty sure I had all the air out of it. So we're, uh, we're at 18 now. So both pumps are running nice now. I've got one in behind here, and then I've got my own uh, set up over here with a flow meter. And I should have checked what time of day that stuff all turned on, but uh, check it out. So that's the uh, hot side, and uh, that's the cold side. So if you take into account the, the incoming versus the outgoing, the temperature difference, and then you figure in the the rate of flow right now this is about one gallon per minute then that'll tell you the BTUs so whatever this unit is doing it's actually doing two times because this is for one bank of collectors and uh, I've got a second bank of collectors and it's uh, doing basically the same thing so this pump is also running and I'm also moving this one is a little less so uh, yeah it's nice and warm I tell you guys we're getting some heat in the building this is kind of fun watching this thing run. It, uh, I don't know, assembling this whole thing gives a guy kind of like the mad scientist feel. But uh, tell you the truth, it would not have had to be nearly as uh, complicated as what I did here uh, because I'm actually doing, I, I made it into two systems and I could have run uh, maybe one pump, maybe a little bit bigger than this one and just do for, for all of the collectors. But I kind of decided, well, I was going to do two pumps. So it's slightly overcast outside right now, but you can still easily see where the, the sun is in the sky. So it's about 1040 in the morning. So I thought I should show you this in case it clouds over enough to start cooling the system down a bit. But uh, look at the temperature where it's at. So that's the hot side coming in. And uh, that's the cold side, that's the water or the glycol going back out. And like I said before, you figure in your gallons per minute and then you figure out the BTUs. I haven't done that yet, but I'll, uh, uh, there's a nice uh, a website where, where it's got like a, it's an online calculator. So it's a nice winter day outside and uh, we're leaving some heat on the inside. So really fun to watch this thing all uh, come together here. Guys, appreciate you watching.